Welcome to Lennart Sors AB and to this presentation of uh, Iron Horse Flex 2. Uh, my name is Peter Olin and I am the product manager here at Lennart Sors and will guide you through this presentation. Uh, this presentation is also available in printed form and can be ordered by just mailing to me or my colleagues. With already three models in our range, the Classic, the Flex and the Essence, you might ask yourself why another model of the Jan uh, The easiest answer of that is that we have done some research among our customers and also a lot of uh, internal discussion here in uh, Lennarsfors and it all comes down to four different and important areas of change. And the first wish from our customer was mainly the remote controlled power winch followed by a better balance on the machine, uh, easier maintenance and some annoying things like uh, frozen throttle wires and so on. Uh, flex 2 is built on the same concept as a standard flex. The most eye-catching thing you notice on the flex 2 is the rollover bar here in the front of the machine. <laughs> Similar to the uh, Iron Horse Essence. And if we move around to the front here and have a look at the power winch, the unique thing about this power winch is that we have a semi automatic free spool function on this one. Meaning that uh, you disengage the wire rope with the same lever as on a standard flex, the gear shift lever here. So you disengage the gear and it stays disengaged. Then you pull out the rope, where you're going to work, anchor it to the log, start the engine and the winch will engage it automatically. There are two unique uh, accessories for the uh, Flex 4. And the first thing is the anchor winch. It's an electric anchor winch. This one is a uh, Bronco 2500. It comes with a remote control and also for hand maneuver here on the machine itself. The function of the electric winch is very simple. You disconnect the spool here on the winch left side. And now you can pull out the line. And very important, this winch is not for winching. It's more for uh, anchoring the machine when using the power winch. You pull out the rope like this. It's a synthetic uh, line, five millimeters. You engage the clutch once again to lock the line. Starting the winch by first switching on the main switch and the maneuver to the winch by the knob over there. And then you can choose using the remote control, press on on the side and press in. Or as shown earlier, using the fixed button on the machine. The second option of Flex 2 is the LED lighting. We have two lights here in front on the rollover bar and we have two working lines uh, pointing to the rear on the winch tower. Mm -hmm. 
As mentioned, uh, the only two accessories on this machine is uh, the electric uh, anchor winch and the LED lightning on the machine. Everything else is standard, which means that we have all Flex 2 comes with hydraulics, movable accessory bracket where the felling bunk is attached, and hydraulic power winch. And looking at the rear end of the machine here, remember I mentioned from start that we are focusing on better balance of the machine, and we have done so. Look at this massive counterweight. We have added 25, 27 kilos on the rear end of the machine, just to balance the machine much better when traveling in terrain. Further on here on the platform, we have cargo loops, four of them, which will enable you to secure any load on the machine. Another feature on this machine is the easy accessibility for maintenance. Looking at the rollover bar here in front, the sides here are connected here to the gear sheet stands. They can be opened very easily just by unlocking this hatch. Then you open this side and you have full access to the uh, electric panel, the right side of the engine, and so on, and the brake installation. As you can see here, the platform itself has been extended in length enabling you to store uh, uh, extra things, backpack or something like that when you work in the forest. The left side opens in the same way. And as you see here, on this side gate here, is an accessory box. This one is standard and it comes with a lid. It's a little bit bigger than on the standard flex. On this side you find the hydraulic pump, the valve package, and the belt cover. And also the hydraulic motor for the winch. Very easy to access when needed for maintenance and repair. The engine on Flex 2 is a standard 9 horsepower engine with the electric starter. Uh, Flex 2 can also be uh, delivered with a 13 horsepower engine. Looking in front, we have the gear shift lever. And it's a combined lever. If you raise that up here in neutral, you also have the hand throttle on the same lever. And this will ensure that you won't have the gear, the gear in uh, front or rear when starting the engine. So this is a safety throttle, similar to the one we had on the, we have on the standard flex, but this one is in the same level. Just to mention something more about the hydraulics, it's a little bit different than uh, on the standard flex. The hydraulic pump here is six cubic. It means that you will have uh, twenty one point six liter a minute, and the pressure is set to one hundred and sixty bar. Looking at the valve installation here, the first lever here is for moving the accessory bracket on the platform on the rear. The second lever is for if you have some tools connected to the machine, outside hydraulics. And the third valve here is a remote valve for the hydraulic winch. The differential lock no carry here, very much on the same uh, as on any other machine. You have the label here on the side. The steering handle is reinforced, as you can see here and here. And we also have a different look here on top. We have changed the arcs here, that's more a design feature on the handle itself. If you go down here on the steering handle, you find a new catch. 
I say new, but uh, for you that have been familiar with iron holes uh, in the old days, will recognize this because uh, this is very much the same cache that we had from the start, locked with a pin like this. So this is the, the position when standing on the platform driving it. And when you walk in front of the machine, you secure the steering handle here and you can fold it in front. I, men I mentioned one annoying thing that I have heard from a lot of customers. And that is when the trotter wire freezes during winter time. I think we have a good solution on that one. As you can see here down on the cables, you see some red devices here. This is actually inline lubrication ports. If you remove this screw here in the middle, you will gain access to the wire. And the method is that you lower the handle down to the ground. So this will be the highest point from the steering handle. And with compressed air, you clean the hose from all damp that might be inside. The damp that will freeze when it's cold outside. And after you clean the hose, the boot, with compressed air, then you lubricate it, and uh, preferably by a, an RTFE spray. This is a standard multi-use uh, spray for wires, and bicycles and so on. You can also use antifreeze, standard as you have in your car, in the radiator. But then you need to have something just to fill it up here. And with the handle down to the ground, you will notice when it starts to leak from the handle, then you know you have filled the boot all the way. The back plate or the load protecting plate is like on the essence removable for easy access. Like this. From here, it's much easier to reach the battery and the cabling and so on and the carburetor. All in all, just have a better accessibility for maintenance. Let's talk about the frame, but first, before I start, I have a nice little feature here, a new one. And this locking pin here is to secure the felling bunk. If you uh, take that away, remove that one, you can rotate the felon bunk and in place, you can say lock the position. And as it's connected to a chain, that is, you won't lose it when you work in the forest. But the frame itself, looking at the chassis here, it's 30 millimeter wider than a standard flex. And why is that? Yeah, that's because we have a a slight bigger uh, driven pulley or secondary variator. And in order to get room for that one, we had to broaden the machine a little bit. On the other hand, if you look here closer to the rear end, you see that the frame narrows down. And this is actually the same measurement as on the standard flex, which enable you to use the same accessory on flex tool as on the standard flex. Looking inside the tracks, here on the left side, you can see here on the rear tensioner wheel that we have a scraper. This is for mud and snow, just to keep this wheel clean. And you can also see here on the tensioning screw here for the belt is side mounted for easier access with normal tools. This one has also an indicator and a group of uh, spring washers here that will tell you very easily that you have the right, right tensioning on the track. Moving forward, here's the front rocker arm. Nothing special with that one, except that this, this has been moved forward approximately 15 millimeters, just to improve the balance of the machine. And here in front, you see the drive wheel. This is the same drive wheel that we have on the Essence. 
It's a drive wheel in Steve. The skid plate here underneath the gearbox is very easy to remove. It's only secured by two screws here in the front and hinge on the rear. So losing those, uh, removing those two screws here, lower the skid plate and then you can uh, remove it completely. For better access to the steering installation here. And you can see here, I put the light on here on the clutch fork, this one. We have added grease fittings here on the bottom. So it's much easier now to lubricate the clutch itself. The fuse box is located on the machine's right side. You have uh, automatic fuses here and switches here on the left side. The first one here is for the winch, the power winch installation, and also the electric winch for the maneuver. Second one is for uh, the front lightning, rear lightning, and we have one fuse for sp to spare. On the lower end here is the main switch, standard main switch, and further down is also a USB socket, the charging uh, phone, for example. 